among a handful of the guys in the country that we're going to play in this game on Saturday. Just a little bit on the history, yeah, there you go, Lord. A little bit of the history on the relationships you all have. You and Taco, obviously, you know, each other a little bit growing up. Um, and the pride that you all maybe have as guys from that same town, all representing your schools in this one game. Yeah, um, so, I mean, I think it's pretty cool. Like I said, we're from... Uh, you know, suburb of Columbus to have, I think it's four guys, Taco, Jake, Pat, and I, to be uh, playing in a big game like this is, you know, pretty cool to uh, kind of look back on. And, yeah, I mean, like you mentioned, Taco and I, we were playing basketball, I think, early on, like fourth, fifth grade. So I've known him for quite a while and then played with Pat and uh, football growing up. And then Jake, I just kind of knew through high school. But kind of speaks to the development of football in that one area. Even yeah. Yeah, for sure. I mean, they definitely, um, in the Pickerton area, we put out a lot uh, a lot of guys that play, you know, at the next level. And, you know, it's testimony, I think, to, the, you know, the coaches and both the programs there. Jacoby, we talk about your family a lot when it comes to football. But, I mean, the foreign legacy in the Ohio State-Michigan series especially, we know what that is and what that means. What does it mean to you that you're the last foreign to be playing in an Ohio State-Michigan game? Um, hopefully I'm not the last. Hopefully we'll have the next generation coming through. But, uh, um, you know, it's it's humbling, you know, to be just, you know, to see, you know, like my dad, Justin, Zach, you know, playing this game. And it's humbling for me to, you know, just kind of be in the same footsteps and know, know that we have, you know, we've had a great opportunity. You know, not many people get to play in this game. To know that we've had four people, you know, in my family is, um, like I said, it's humbling. It's a great experience, you know. It's, it's the best best rivalry rivalry game around. So, um, just like I said, I'm just thankful to be a part of it. When you were seven, eight, nine years old, so much to so many people. I'm Ohio, sorry. What did you, you say? Know the Ohio State Michigan rivalry means so much to so many people. Do you feel like maybe the Borens understand it as well as anyone because you guys know both sides of it? Um, you know, I think a lot of people that have just played in the game have a great understanding of it. But I mean, I think I might have a little, I guess, different perspective. Like I said, uh, like you said, you know, growing up, I was a fan, um, you know, up there, and you know, I was around, you know, like my dad, you know, knew Coach Shem Beckler well, and you know, I was around him, and so, I mean, I guess I have a great appreciation for that aspect uh, of it. But I mean. Pretty much, you know, and anyone that plays in this rivalry knows what it's about, and you know, they know it's gonna be a tough game and tough, hard-hitting game, and that's what it is. When you were seven, eight, seven, eight, nine years old, type, what, what was that weekend like for you? I mean, what was Saturday like for you for the game with your dad being who he was and knowing both the way he did? Um, I mean, it was definitely. He always gets. Uh, he always takes it serious. So I mean, it wasn't really relaxed. You know, he he gets into the game. So. Um, I don't know. I mean, it was like I said, it was, you know, we'd go up there a lot and stuff, and they'd have, I don't know, I guess reunions and stuff. Mm -hmm. So, and like I said, I think, you know, Bo and Woody you know, are the two iconic coaches in this rivalry. So, you know, I'm, um, you know, whether he's the coach up there, you know, and now I'm playing here, you know, I'm still, uh, you know, thankful that I, that I got to meet him. So, is it, a, is it weird to you how your dad has flipped on the rivalry? I mean, um, knowing him when you were six, seven, like I said, seven years old, I mean, yeah. he really cared, you know? Yeah. Now um, he still cares, but for the other reason. Yeah. Um, I mean, I think it's pretty easy for him. You know, my parents are all about us. You know, they they put, um, you know, their kids above everything else. So I think it was pretty easy. You know, when we flipped, he was going to he was gonna flip over with us. So. Hey, Jacoby, how close have you guys come to playing as well as you're capable of playing this year? Um. I think at points this season, you know, we, we've come close. Uh, you know, I'm thinking just right before the bye week, I think Rutgers were clicking pretty well. And there were other games, but just off the top of my head, um, I thought we played pretty well against Rutgers. And, you know, I mean, it's just something you got to work every week to execute, um, you know, your best ability and something that we're uh, going to be working at this week to improve off last week. So. Any idea why it's coming fits and starts like it has? Um, you know, I. I don't know if there's any one solution, you know, it's just as a whole, you know, I think we all need to take ownership. Every everyone that's on there or everyone that's out there playing, you know, just kind of has to look, reflect on themselves and see what they can do better and just, you know, try to help the team. You guys were so good last year as a line, and especially this time of year last year. Can you put your finger on what it's been and how frustrating has it been? Um, I mean, I don't think, they don't think there's really any one thing. I mean, there's just little things here and there. Um, I don't think, I mean, sometimes defenses will throw some tough things that, you know, are maybe um, 
I guess it's going to be hard, you know, for us to handle up front if they throw a lot of guys down there. But, um, you know, like I said, just something that we all need to look at, you know, look ourselves in the mirror and see what we can do to, to help this team win. What's the challenge this week when you look at what Michigan's got up front? Um, you know, I think it's, uh, you know, they have a great front seven, you know, like the team we played last week, and it's something we need to we need to go to work uh, this week, get better, and it's pretty much it. They have, a, they have great guys up there, so we're looking forward to the challenge. Was last week, it was Michigan State a, a good precursor for this game, for what you're facing from a physical standpoint or whatever you want yeah. to do? Yeah, I mean, I think, you know, Michigan State, they had a great D-line and, you know, linebacker set, and they were physical, and, you know, like, this game's going to be the same way, so it'll... Um, it'll be pretty similar to last week. We have to, uh, you know, like I said, prepare this week, get better, and get ready for a tough physical game. You're you're aware of what Ezekiel Elliott told us after the game, uh, you know, about the offense, and he was disappointed that he only got 12 carries and thought you guys should have gone more to the power like y'all did the week before against Illinois, you know, when things were kind of going anywhere. Just where do y'all go from that, from, from him saying those kind of things and moving on and – I don't know. I mean, what, what's in your mind of what y'all are all about right now from an offensive standpoint? Um, you know, I mean, Zeke's, you know, he's the passionate guy. So, I mean, I think, you know, he was a little frustrated and, um, you know, he, he kind of was just saying what was on his mind. But, you know, he's a great guy. He's selfless. And, you know, uh, like I said, we'll we'll handle what we need to handle. And, you know, I know this Saturday he'll be out there and he'll be giving his all and just like everyone else on this team will be. And, I don't think there's really any issues with that. I know, I know all the guys on this team are gonna gonna be going out week in and week out, and they give everything they have. So, if y'all if y'all feel frustrated though as an offense this year from a rhythmic or uh, consistency standpoint, how, how frustrating has it been for you guys, Jacoby, with every so many people back? And um, I mean, I don't know. I mean, you, I guess you can get frustrated some at sometimes, but it's nothing. Uh, you know, football can be frustrating. You know, I mean, it's not a game that's cut and dry you know it's not just one thing you know there's a lot of moving parts to it so um i know we have a lot of great guys on this team that you know every week in and week out go you know practice hard and try to prepare each week to win each game so i know uh and i know we'll keep we'll continue doing that so from, from your vantage point to being an offensive lineman obviously the conditions were not great on saturday but what was the issue with the offense and why did you guys struggle so much um i mean i think it was uh I mean, when it comes, there are a couple of different things, but when it comes down to just, you know, execution, you know, we weren't able to execute our, they executed better than we did. And when it comes down to it, when, when, um, you know, when a team's executing better than you are, you know, they're going to win the game. So, like I said, it's something that, you know, we've watched, we're going to work on it and we'll, uh, we'll be getting better this week. So. How many teammates will you be hosting this Thanksgiving since you're one of the local guys? And I'm sure there's a lot of guys who can't get home, but they'll get to your house. Yeah. Um, so some of the freshman guys, they haven't really committed yet, but uh, any of the freshman, younger freshman guys are welcome. And I was talking to Jamarco yesterday. He's heading up to Cleveland. Um, but I just basically it's open house over the Bourne household. So whoever wants to come over, my mom will be cooking up food. Teammates giving, huh? Yeah, exactly. We used to actually, Mew Arts used to come over too, so that that ended about two years ago and Jack stopped playing, but that was always fun having them over, so they would usually come down. How many Kobe. turkeys does that usually involve? Uh, I don't even know, honestly. I just, by the time I get over there, everything's cooked, so it's all sitting there cut up. I'm sure it's at least a couple, I don't know. Jacoby, this team is obviously Couple more questions. one three straight against Michigan. Is there a memory of those wins from your time there that sticks out to you? Um. I don't know, just being a part of it, you know, is an awesome experience. I think last year, that uh, end of the game when uh, Z came out on uh, on that run was probably, I guess, one moment, you know, that kind of just sticks in your mind. But, um, you know, every every time that, you know, we get to win against them and get a pair of gold pants is an awesome experience. So I imagine for the senior class, we nice to sweep. Yeah, yeah, exactly. You know, there's not, not many people – um, that can say they've done that. So it would be an uh, awesome accomplishment for us. Jacoby, what's Last the difference question. preparing for Michigan off a loss yeah. as opposed to coming into this game rolling like you guys have been in years past? Um, I don't really think there's a difference, you know, honestly. I think, um, it's, you know, it's the game. You know, this is what you come to Ohio State for is playing this game. Win or lose, you know, I think I'm going to have this. I know I am and the rest of the guys, you know, I can speak on behalf of them. They'll have the same mentality, you know. It's gonna be a tough physical game. You know, they don't like us. We don't like them. We have respect for them, but we don't like them. And 
um, we're going to go out there and give everything we have to get a win. So 